Uh, very important record, you, of course you had Chicago House, Acid, but for me, when I really connected again and when I wanted to be involved, seriously, was um, when I first heard It Is What It Is by Derek May. Yes. That really blew me away because, you know, I, I'm, I'm a soul guy, you know, I don't like cold electronic music, you know, everybody stays. For me, I need that sensibility, that sex, I mean, I really need, I love women, so if, if I really connect with women and, and music, if you know what I mean. So, um, and that really blew me away. I said, okay, finally, electronic music can be soulful. I mean, that, that was a big key moment. And then, of course, Strings of Life came. And, yeah. So, and uh, just, just to let know the people the question. This is interesting because we have jumped directly to another period. Because I would like to start from the real beginning of your label. Because at the beginning, the label was a simple, simply dance label. And then something changed, as you say, in 87, 88. And obviously, there was the uh, influence of Chicago and Detroit. But also, obviously, mixed with the uh, Belgian sound. And the very good thing of uh, uh, Aaron, as I, my opinion, is that at the really beginning it was just like an open box when you can find everything you know it's just a magical box for example uh, you you say uh, derek may but there is also a, a record that uh, was printed on your label that is uh, i'm strong by fingers inc and this was firstly was a very very uh very well pressed record instead of the Chicago trucks regular they were very well pressed you know Larry Sherman used all vinyl so it was terrible the sound and then there is the the instrumental side and uh, everyone is you know is taking care of a new sound that is not simply sound record it's not an house record it's something different and probably make connection with the Derek May release in a certain way so a different point of view of ele dance electronic music so not really only 4-4 not really uh, uh, schematic stuff but like patterns like uh, composition composition so uh, how you have approached fingers ink that's my first question and uh, why you decided to take explicitly, explicitly this kind this record? Because this is something that was one of the first release of um, of your of your label. Two reasons. When I started, okay, it's like um, how can you say when you start something, whether you paint or you write. I mean, there is a beginning. You're, you're not the best in what you do, but you have to start somewhere. And my dream was uh, mainly to become a you know, an international label with my taste of music against America and all the output from all the big ones. So I wanted to, I wanted to beat Virgin. That was my dream. I say, Richard Branson, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. <laughs> and he, you know, he left. He started as an airplane company. <laughs> so I'm, I'm joking. But that was the idea to be, because I could see it coming. Once, once something becomes sort of acceptable, you have the copycat. Xero machine and the industry goes. I'm always looking for a certain sentiment. Um, I, I don't care. I don't care about sales. I don't care about will it work. I have my own instincts and my own feeling that I, that I want to follow. Right or wrong is something else. Nobody has to agree, but you know, what I do comes from me, end of story. And that's, that's why I went back to the 70s, because if you listen to It Is What It Is and I'm Strong, even even, even um, Energy Flash, which changed the world, even Mentasm, that those records really changed the world. I, I can, we have released a lot of records that were game changers. And even today, today we're still doing the same thing. Um, but I want to feel that... Um, yeah, I, I don't know, something spicy.